Let me ask you guys a question. Do either one of you smoke? No. Uh, yeah, okay. We both straight up lied to him. I'm not just gonna, like, tell him I smoke and give him my cigarettes, you know? That's just dumb. I was like, I have to lie. I don't want my cigarettes gone. We're not gonna check your bags. I'm gonna trust that you guys are telling me the truth. If I find out any differently, then I will check your bags. I sort of was skeptical that maybe they weren't being completely honest, but I'm innocent until proven guilty. All right. All right. Later that night, I was like, I need a cigarette. We need to, like, try and find a way to sneak out. What's up, Ian? Not much. He'd like to go on a walk with Mackenzie by himself. Like, just, that's to, cool. just to, like, she's talk up, with her and she's stuff. She's up for it. Ian and Mackenzie wanted to go for a walk. And I was cool with it. Why wouldn't I be? Just don't be going a real long time, all right? Like 10 minutes, Max. Yeah, that's fine. I have no cigarettes on me right now. I have one. Oh, my god, you Nazis. I was excited to smoke that cigarette. Like, I was craving them. Thank you. Mom gave them 10 minutes. And if they're not back, then I'll go find them. I need to think of plans for, like, smoke breaks. Yeah, dude. Go take a look. I'll give them a couple about four back. more minutes. It could be bad for the teens if they disrespect my parents because they would be liable to face my dad blowing up in their face. When Ian and Mackenzie got back, one of the first things that I noticed was the smell. He smelled like a cigarette. You smoke. How do you know I smoke? You smell like a cigarette. Yeah, deal yeah. with it. Like, I smoke, and I'm just going to continue to smoke. Like, you can't change that. But while you're here, you can't. Are you a smoker, too, Mackenzie? Yeah, I am. I'm just wondering if you still have some cigarettes that you need to turn over. No. You don't have any cigarettes on you whatsoever? None. OK. He totally bought it. And I was like, seriously? This guy's a dumbass. How about you, Mackenzie? You've got them in your stuff. No, I didn't you know. bring any. That's good. I continued to lie about having cigarettes because I didn't want to have my cigarettes taken away. We're ready to call it a night. Tomorrow, I'm going to search their rooms because it's clear to me that they're not telling the truth. Ian? Yeah? Can I come in? Yeah. You didn't stick something in your back pocket, did you? Hold your shirt up if you wouldn't turn around. Now turn around. Turn around all the way. Oh, wow. Give them to me. I kind of need these. Actually, you won't need them this week. Those are my cigarettes. You know, I paid for those. I need those. That's just kind of kidding me. What did you say? I said, are you? That's me. what I thought you said. Yeah, that's what I said. When I heard the profanity coming out of Ian's mouth, I was just like, OK, that's it. You've really crossed the line now. And before I could turn around, Ian and Mackenzie started heading out the door. I tell you what, if you get past the end of the street and keep walking, I'm going to rock your world. I've got so much stuff that needs to be done around my house. So you can keep walking, or you can turn around and go back. I just needed a cigarette, so I was going to keep walking no matter what. I decided to stay back because I didn't want to get like, more in trouble. I thought at some point he's going to realize, you know, I'm going to have to go back. Feel better? Yeah, I needed some time to myself. Smell like smoke. You stashing some other cigarettes in here somewhere? You're not <laughs> taking my cigarettes. Oh, yes, I am. And I will find all of them, every last one. Ian is disrespectful and rebellious. That's just something that I just don't tolerate. I'm going to give her a break, but I need you to do the backyard. All of that needs to go in the back, OK? All of it? All of it. Oh, my god. It was just terrible. It was like the worst thing ever. I was sweating. <sighs> Had he been somewhat obedient, he could have stopped at the point that Mackenzie stopped, but he had to go beyond what was expected. When I drove up from being at my meeting, I was confronted by my wife. What's going on? And I could just tell by the look in her eye that something had gone on. She found my cigarettes. 
and then he got mad at me and started using some foul language. Let me hear from you what you said to my wife. I said, this is ridiculous. That's uh, what I said. Hmm. I cannot tell you how upset I was. I was livid. Do not speak to me or my wife or anybody in this house in that manner again. Are we clear? Yeah. I'm dead serious. Yeah. I was really scared how like mad Blake was getting because I didn't know what was in store for me. And they both took off down the street. She stopped, but he walked and walked and walked for... As far as the trust issue, dude, what are you thinking? I don't know. I'm going to have to go inside for a minute and just cool down because I'm, I'm pissed.